Hey guys, if you don't already know me, I'm Fahim Saleh, the CEO of Gokada. This is the last video 33-year-old Fahim Saleh posted to Instagram, making a passionate plea earlier this year for his motorbike ride hailing company, Gokada, after a motorcycle transportation ban in Nigeria where it's headquartered. Gokata is not just a business to me, it's a mission. The company, remembering Saleh on social media as a leader, innovator, and inspiration, shocked by his death. We're told he was last seen on surveillance video Monday. Tuesday afternoon, police responded to 265 East Houston Street after Saleh's sister went to check on him, making the gruesome discovery. According to police sources, they have video of her arriving at the apartment about the same time his alleged killer was leaving. Investigators suspect the dissection and disposal of the body may have, by chance, been interrupted by her arrival, the possible ring of a bell from the lobby. Police sources also say they found his decapitated torso and other remains in black trash bags and an electric saw was left behind. It's horrific, disturbing. The body found on the seventh floor here. Rafael Sai says he almost moved into this building last year. It's crazy that that would have happened so close to where I could have possibly lived. It's also believed Saleh was killed before his body was dismembered. I can't imagine uh, my heart goes out to his family. Uh, or friends, anyone who knew the guy. As LA's Instagram points out, he was dreaming big, founder of several companies and an investor. While the motive for the murder is still unclear, we're told cops are probing his business practices to hopefully get to the bottom of who did this and why.